Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Kakurash. Yahweh is the true, holy, and powerful name of the Heavenly Father, Bahashem, meaning in the name. Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, and powerful name of His only begotten Son, who is the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting off with the elect within the nation of Israel. Israel consists of you so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, as well as you Israelite foreigners scattered abroad that may look like the nations where you've been scattered to, but are Israelites. And I also want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hope for the elect. Pushing out this word in all sincerity and in truth. All right, this is the brother you call from the GMS branch on the morning. I will come back at you with another lesson inspired by the Holy Spirit. And um, in this lesson, I just want to go into uh, being a, uh, an example. All right, a proper example on how to think. Uh, reason, move, and the fear of the Lord, all right, and faith in Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, um, in, our, uh, in our everyday lives, all right, because when you look at um, the examples that we have of our forefathers that are left for us, whether it's uh, Daniel, all right, the examples of uh, the three holy children, or the examples of uh, Judas Maccabees, or King David, and, you know, the list goes on, all right, the things that they were doing, all right, that we have left for us, um, they didn't know that those things were going to be written down. All right. They were just moving according to the faith and the fear of the Lord that they had. All right. And because of moving in that proper way. All right. And because of reasoning properly. All right. Those things were left for us on examples on how to please Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So fast forward to us in this time period. All right. The same thing with us. The way that we think reason and move and the fear and the faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, should be an example unto the next, uh, the next man. All right, unto the next uh, believer. All right, this is the book of uh, First Timothy chapter. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab this in the book of James. All right, this is the book of James chapter five, um, and verse. Uh, I'm gonna start at verse ten. It says, "Take my brethren, the prophets who have spoken in the name of the Lord, for an example of suffering, affliction, and of patience." Right. So, even when we're catching hell. All right, the way that we endure the hell that we're catching are right, the different situations that the Lord uh, um, allows us to be put in. All right, we should be leaving a good example on how to uh, endure that hell. All right, how to continue to carry our cross and follow uh, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh All right, that's the example that our, uh, our forefathers left for us. All right, in the times of great affliction and adversity, yet they maintain their integrity, yet they continue to follow um, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh All right, so that's the example that we should... Uh, we should be having for the next man, all right? Different situations that we find ourselves in, all right? At times, uh, brothers, you know, they may not know what you're suffering through and this and that and the third, right? But then the spirit might have it, have it to where later on that comes out, all right? But yet you've still been on top of your game. You've still been serving the Lord, all right? And it's as if you haven't even been going through anything, right? But when that's shown forth, it's like, man, like, look, this brother, he was dealing with this and that and the third, all right? But yet he was still uh, grinding. He was still serving the Lord. And you wouldn't even have known that he was uh, uh, suffering through those things, man. All right. To where that man has left a, a, a good example on how to uh, how to suffer, how to take the hell that he's going through and yet continue to uh, yet continue to move forward. All right. Or yet continue to maintain his faith. All right. Not making excuses or whatever, the, whatever the case it may be. All right. That's something that that's on my mind. You know, I think about, you know, when I'm going through uh, different particular situations, you know, as, as far as um, just making sure that, you know what, like, yeah, I'm going through this and then the third. But, you know, I want to show the the next man that even though we're going through these things, you know, we still got to carry our cross and, and, and follow the Lord. All right. No matter what we got to go through, you know, we got to continue to push forward and the Lord can strengthen us uh, to do that. All right. But anyways, this is the book of, uh, back in the book of James, chapter five and verse 10. Take my brethren, the prophets who have spoken in the name of the Lord for an example of suffering, affliction and patience. Behold, we count them happy, which endure. Ye have heard of the patience of Job and have seen the end of the Lord. And the Lord is very pitiful and of uh, tender mercy. All right. So we see the end of those that um, that have suffered affliction, have suffered affliction. But yet, all right, they maintain their uh, their faith and integrity. All right. And this is the same example that we should be leaving for the next man. All right, going back into this Timothy that I was going to start off with, First Timothy chapter 4 and verse 11, these things command and teach, let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word and conversation and charity and spirit and faith and purity, right? So there goes right there. We should be an example, all right, to the believers, okay? And in and, and, and our everyday walk and our everyday ask, uh, uh, 
our uh, in our everyday lives. All right. This is the book of Romans chapter 12. I'll pull this up here. Romans 12 and 10, it says, be kindly affection one to another with brotherly love and honor preferring one another. Now, when we go into this word prefer, preferring, it says uh, to go before and show the way to go before and lead to go before as a leader. Right. So we should be leading one another. All right. Um, uh, in our everyday lives. All right. The scriptures even talk about um, uh, us being uh, walking epistles. All right. So we should be embodiments um, of these precepts. All right. A walking embodiment of the book of Proverbs or the book of Sirach. All right. Just like Yahweh Shai, he's the word made flesh. Well, we should be examples of the word being made flesh. All right. Through our everyday lives. So us um, being those examples all right, of the word, um, the word made flesh. All right. Somebody else should be able to look at our lives, all right, and look at how we move and be given a proper example on how to please Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, all right? Just like our, our forefathers, all right? They were proper examples on how to please Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And we do have examples, of course, of our forefathers where they, uh, where they uh, may have fallen or slipped, right? But then got back up and continued to serve the Lord, all right? We have that uh, those examples. A man after the Most High's heart, King David, all right, we see how uh, the love that he has all right, for the Lord, all right, how he uh, followed and and uh, uh, claved to the Lord and everything. All right. And yet we have still examples of, of, uh, of him being in the flesh. All right. And getting back up and, and continue to, uh, to serve the Lord. So not saying that we're going to be uh, perfect in the flesh. All right. But no matter what we go through, you know, we should we should be applying these precepts, man. All right. Applying these precepts and still leaving an example of of how to uh, how to endure or how to reason or whatever the case it may be. All right. And all these different situations that we find ourselves in. All right. But this is um, that was it on that uh, definition. All right. So we got to be leading one another by example. All right. This is the book of First Corinthians, chapter 11. <clears throat> First Corinthians 11 and one, it says, be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Yahweh Shai. Right. So this is the Apostle Paul. All right. And for him to say this, all right, you know, he had to be walking up right. Of course, we got the examples of <laughs> uh, uh, of his walk. All right. The great things that he did, the letters and and so on and so forth all right, that were left us. But for him to have that confidence to be like, look, just follow me because I'm following the Lord. All right. And you're going to be all right. Trust me. All right. <laughs> so the same thing for us. We should be like, look, hey, if you following following me, I'm following the Lord. So if you following me. So we headed to this. We, we all going to head. Uh, we're headed to the kingdom. OK, it reminds me of the precept in the book of Isaiah where it says, uh, um, you shall hear a word behind thee saying this is the way and walk ye in it. All right. So imagine you walking down uh, down the sidewalk. You're going the opposite direction. All right. And then you got uh, other people walking the other way. All right. The, the prophets walking the proper way to the kingdom. All right. And then you hear them yelling like, hey, where are you going? All right. Where are you going, bro? The kingdom is this way. All right. Rest and salvation is this way. So you hear that word behind you and you turn around. You're like, oh, snap. So then what do you start doing? All right. You don't start. You don't hear them and then be like, OK, cool. And you you walk down the path a little bit and then you go your own way. Nah, you continue to follow them and that path. All right. Because they're going the proper way. All right. They're headed to the kingdom or they're following Yahweh Shai. All right. Then what? You're following them in their footsteps. The examples that they're leaving. All right. Even when certain men trip and stumble. All right. They might trip and stumble over a, a rock or something in the path. OK, then you'd be like, oh, well, let me um, let me make sure I don't trip over that. All right. What did he trip over that little that crack right there or something sticking out of the sidewalk? All right. Let me make sure I avoid that, you know. But nevertheless, what we're following, um, uh, uh, following the next man. OK. As they're following um, Yahweh Shai. All right. So then we should as we're walking down that path, once we turn. All right, and we began to walk down that path and, and follow the, the, the proper way. All right. And then next thing you know, somebody will start following us. OK, and we should be guiding in the proper way, continuing down that path. All right. So that that person can obtain uh, salvation as well, man. All right. But let me grab this in the book of Second Ezra. I'll probably just end it off on this. Second uh, Ezra chapter um, 13 and verse 54. It says. 
it says, uh, now these are words that are being spoken of the, of the, the prophet uh, Ezra, all right? It says, uh, for thou hast forsaken thine own way and applied thy diligence unto my law and sought it, right? And we have to have the same testimony of forsaking our own way. This is the testimony that uh, Ezra's had, right? And this is the testimony that we must have, man, all right? And if I'm not mistaken, is this the angel that's speaking to him? All right. I believe. Okay, uh, I believe it's the angel. All right, one of the angels that's speaking to him, or it's the Lord. But the point that I was gonna make is that um, this is a testimony that he has even in the heavens. All right, and that was something that I was just uh, thinking about, man. All right, see, it doesn't matter about how people view us uh, here. All right, on Earth. Okay, these other people that's gonna perish, man. But the testimony that we have in the heavens, all right, of following Yahweh Shemi Awashai. So we may be crazy in the eyes of other people for following the Lord, for walking down this path. The multitudes, they're continuing down that path of destruction that we were once on. All right, but, but as long as we have that testimony of, of pleasing the Lord and following Yahweh Shemi Awashai, all right, in the heavens, man, hey, we we going to be all right, all right? But anyways, that was just a side note, you know, something that came uh, came to mind. But going back to that second Ezra, uh, or no, I'm going to that Isaiah 55 to show you that we must have the testimony of forsaking our own way. Isaiah 55 and uh, 7, it says, uh, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Right. Just like it talked about Ezra. It said that thou hast forsaken thine own way. All right. It says, and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our power for he will abundantly pardon. Right. So we should be showing an example of forsaking our own way for the next man. All right. So that they can receive that pardon as it is written uh, right here so that they can receive salvation. man. All right. But anyways, going back to second, Ezra chapter 13 and verse uh, 54 again, it says, uh, for thou hast forsaken thine own way and applied thy diligence unto my law and sought it. Thy life has thou ordered in wisdom and has called understanding thy mother, right? So he ordered his life in wisdom, right? So our life should be ordered in wisdom, man, okay? Therefore, leaving uh, a proper example for the next man, all right? But that's all I had through the spirit, man. Lord's what I was at a I'm going to end it right there and give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing out this word in all sincerity and in truth. And with that, I'm going to say shalom.